<laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Massimino, and this is Inside the International Space Station. Well, not really. A hundred camels running around. <laughs> it's a Dreamliner, 787. And we're going to talk with uh, Joe Acaba and Sonny Williams about their upcoming space flight. It's a nice thing for people to learn a little bit more about a different culture and uh, a different part of the planet. Even Kazakhstan, even Baikonur itself, was secret to the Russians for a long time, for really? most of the Russian public, right? Yeah. Okay. In the last, you know, couple decades, it's sort of, you know, of course, now everybody knows where where Baikonur is. But I mean, it's it's an amazing history. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Um, we launch in Florida, of course, so all the pieces can fall in the ocean. They launch in Kazakhstan because, uh, you know, east of that is just the steppe. But the big pieces still fall in the steppe. And in, the it's, steppe is, I'm sorry, what is this? This just this big desert-type brush area okay. running east of where Baikonur is. Okay. So the big rocket pieces, the first stage, all falls back on the land. The second stage all falls back on the land. And they wow. did that so nobody would actually really know it was, of, of course, the Soviet Union. Nobody would actually know where their launch pad was or what they were doing from the very beginning. Uh -huh. But So it's cool now that TV cameras are coming to that place and they're seeing it. When I was there last time, we saw a herd of camels, you know, like yeah. 100 yeah, camels running cool. around, wild horses. It's, it is in the <laughs> middle of freaking nowhere. Yeah. And, uh, and they made it that way on purpose. And they actually, the name Baikonur was spelled a little bit wrong, so people didn't know exactly where it was on the Whoa. map when they first uh, when they first settled it. So the history is pretty cool and it's neat for I think other folks in the US and I hope there's more news people who come to Kazakhstan so they could understand the whole history of the space program. It's not it wasn't just ours. Ours was awesome of course, going to the moon and everything leading up to it, but theirs too and the effort that the the, the Soviet Union and the Russians made is, is pretty historic and it's nice to, to be able to share that. It's another appreciation for different cultures. It's cool. So that Baikonur is where, you're, where Sputnik was launched from, and Yuri Gagarin. Uh oh, now you're going to ask me yeah. stuff I don't know. <laughs> Yuri don't know. was, yeah. Yuri, Yuri was for sure, but Yuri I don't know Gagarin. about Sputnik. Yeah. And, and it was secret. So, it, so uh, how do you, you get in there on a C-130 or something? Or how do you get, how do you get to this uh, place? When you, go to, when you go to Russia. It's a Dreamliner, a 787. <laughs> It's so all luxury. <laughs> so you, uh, when you go to, it, uh, my friend. <laughs> so when you go to when you go to Russia, you fly into Moscow. When you guys go there, and then you train in Star City, right. and then you go out to Baikonur, which I, you know, you you get you fly to this place. Is yeah. That, you can't tell me where you can't tell me where it is. It's you, secret so still. Right. Right. I don't know where it is. Where it is. <laughs> no. So you but you fly in there. There's obviously mm -hmm. a runway there in a, a small town or. Yeah, actually, Baikonur is a closed city. It's a okay. little interesting place because we have to have, of course, your passport when you're leaving yeah. Russia to go, I guess, through Kazakhstan. But Baikonur, actually, the airport might be in Kazakhstan. I, I might be. Yeah. yeah, the airport's in Kazakhstan. So you need your air, your uh, passport and your papers to get into mm -hmm. Kazakhstan by la uh, landing at the airport Kraini, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. And then they drive you into Baikonur, the town, which is a closed town. It's sort of like an embassy because it's a... It was a town, uh, I think like it was Vatican like, or yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's its own its own little thing, which is Russian. And then you, uh -huh. we stay and we live in this little town called Baikonur. But actually, was, I think I, I read it was home to like a hundred thousand people at one point in time at the height of the space program. So it's not tiny. It's, it's a town. It's a space town. It's a right. space it's town. A rock, rocket yeah. city. Rocket city, exactly. <laughs> and we're, and the spaceships and rockets are built other places and then shipped over there. And yeah. And assembled and shot off from from there. From the cosmodrome. It so, nice. sounds so cool, yeah, doesn't it? Cosmodrome. Cosmodrome. Oh, cosmodrome. <laughs> sounds like an Olympic venue. Exactly. And that's where and that the, the progress launches from the same mm -hmm. the same place yeah. and all their stuff that they want. It's all they have a couple there. different places, but that's the main place I yeah. from what I've heard. Yeah. yeah, they have a pretty big train station right in the center of town and I think that was built uh, and again I, I I don't I don't don't quote me on all the historic points here because I don't want to screw Please. it up too bad. <laughs> it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this movie, Belka, Belka and Stroka, and every, it's a cartoon about those dogs, and I believe everything that it yeah. said, but there's a, a pretty um, big railway system that uh, that goes to that, that went, goes to that town, and has, that's how the people originally got there. They actually lived in tents 
Remember from the, the we, we do no. this really cool, um, as a backup crew member, you get to go to the museum there and you see a little bit of the history of the town. So that's where I'm grabbing some of this from. But the folks who lived there originally when they were building the town, they lived in tents. And this is, again, like I said, out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, they created this whole Cosmodrome spaceport and the town while they were out there. So it's, it's pretty neat. But most of the pieces are made in different places. The, our Soyuz is made in outside of Moscow at, at a company named Energia. And the rocket parts are from a com company or a town in Samara, which I think is also close to Moscow. And then there, all those pieces are trained down on the train down. Yeah. Yeah.